Good morning YouTube, Joshua here with SaltyScales.com. So, have you ever caught a fish out of a retention pond and consumed it? Well, that's what we're going to be covering today. Is it safe? That's the question. I'm going to let you know, but we're first going to catch some fish. But before all of that happens, I want to say thank you to BJ for last video's top comment. Uh, thank you for sharing your rod break story. For this video, if you want to be featured for next video, let me know. Have you ever eaten a fish out of a retention pond? If you did, did you feel any different? Did it make you sick? Was it good? Let me know below. Let's go catch a fish or two. Fish right here. Oh. 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 oh, oh, he got off, he got off, that was a monster. Little bass are chasing my lure. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I had a bass, guys. All right, so what I'm using here this morning is the Presidential XT um, spinning reel by Pfluger. And I also had this five foot ultralight St. Croix rod. It's essentially a panfish rod and uh, just two pound test monofilament. So everything is very light. Rod is very limber, very light. And uh, if you wanna have some fun, guys, Come out here with this ultralight stuff and you'll have a blast. Great for the kids too. Uh, I don't recommend if you're, you're fishing with kids, you probably don't want to go two pound test. You may want to go up to eight, um, six to eight, just because obviously they could break off. Ooh, he's in the weeds. Whoa, 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 it's okay, little buddy. I'm gonna get you in. <laughs> so, research suggests that it's not the herbicides that store with inside the fish's cells and the fat cells more specifically, it's the insecticides. So in other words, every time they come out here and spray all around these ponds, when it rains, that stuff washes into the water and therefore the fish are exposed to it. Now that stuff stays within the fish and they're saying you could eat in small portions of this stuff, fish that is, and it's not gonna contaminate you to the degree where it's gonna cause any serious harm. I have a hard time believing that. Um, I would not suggest consuming it, especially on a regular basis. <laughs> so the tilapia was chasing it. This little bass decided, oh no, he broke it off. I took my lure. He got my lure. My two pound test. Give it back. Give it back. So herbicides may not be a problem for human consumption, so they say, especially uh, since fish do not tend to accumulate much herbicide in their flesh and consumption of these fish would be infrequent. So as long as you're not consuming it on a regular basis, um, they consider the fish safe with respect to human consumption. So one of the things that you have to take in consideration is the food chain. You know, the insects such as the grasshoppers and dragonflies frequent these ponds and around the ponds. The little fish or the smaller bluegill and things and even the small bass feed on these insects and the insecticide is that much more prevalent in those fish and then the larger predator fish such as the larger bass consume the smaller bait fish so not only is the runoff in the water but it's also pretty much being uh, directly implemented into their food source and it's ultimately magnifying the process so it's dangerous
guys. He is on. All right. He is healthy one. Not a bad fish at all. Pitched it in, he dove up after it. Check it out. Beautiful. Going the wrong way. Oh, there we go, guys. Oh, it was a bluegill, too. Dang it. That was cool. Had me a little bluegill right there. <laughs> I just had another tilapia one and he got off. He's on. Tilapia. Oh no, he's in the bushes. Get out of the bushes. Oh, he came off. No. That was a catch and release. Got him. He's a good one. Oh, come on, baby. Through the weeds. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's stuck. Gotta go in after him. Come here, buddy. Oh. Alright. There we go. Wow, that's a big one. Nice. Gobbled it up. There he is, guys. Alright, buddy. See you on the other side. Alrighty, if you enjoyed today's video episode, please give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below. Have you caught and ate a fish out of a retention pond? Let me know what you think. Let's let this puppy go. Till next time, I'll see you on the water.